Wow, the Raptors actually just did that. The Raptors actually just won their first NBA title. The Raptors are NBA champions. The Raptors beat the Warriors at the Oracle, at their last game at the Oracle, or in their last game at the Oracle. Wow, just wow. What a crazy game, what a crazy series. This series honestly just makes up for last year's finals because that wasn't much of a series, but it was a crazy game. Honestly, I was hoping for a game seven after watching tonight's game or, or while watching tonight's game, I was hoping for a game seven because this has just been one crazy series. So many storylines, so many um, dramatic moments and so much drama just overall. Some good, I guess, some bad, like obviously the injuries aren't good at all but i mean wow just clay thompson getting injured and then coming back to shoot his free throws crazy moment clay's just tough guy these warriors they're tough kevin durant too with his achilles injury how he ruptured his achilles and just didn't cry didn't slam the floor or anything like i said in my last video and just casually got up with the help of his teammates and went to the locker room and then you got clay thompson leaving the oracle on crutches but before coming back out to shoot his free throws. Crazy. I mean, I hope he's okay. I hope it's nothing serious because he seems like such a grinder, especially after tonight, and you hope he's okay. The Raptors, yeah, they won, and I don't think anyone pictured this would be the way they won. It almost felt, you know, odd watching. I like was like, wait, I kind of want to see the Warriors win this game so we can go into game seven and just you know, have it back in Toronto. Maybe Clay would be able to would be able to come back. I don't know if he would have been able to actually. But I mean injuries just really overshadow, I feel. Um, not overshadow, but do take up a big part of this finals narrative when we look back at this. And but you know what, with that being said, it shouldn't take anything away from what the Raptors did. It shouldn't take anything away. You can't go, oh, the Raptors only won because the Warriors had injuries. Yeah, you know what, it probably made the game, or the games plural, a little bit easier, or easier for the Raptors, right? But they stepped up, and they played as a team unit, and had the whole team producing throughout this series. You know what, tonight they had four players over 20 points, right? They had four players over 20 points, and that's, and that's what it takes to win an NBA championship. And Kawhi Leonard, the MVP, obviously outstanding finals, outstanding playoff. I don't want people to be taking things away from the Raptors because of the injuries. Yes, they happened, but you know what? The Warriors were right back in this game. Steph Curry can still shoot from anywhere. He was out there. You know, I thought he could have hit that three and tied that game up or, sorry, got them the lead towards the end there. Last few seconds there. So, um, it just... <laughs> Don't take anything away from the Raptors here, okay? Warriors, they fought hard. They showed they were fighters. They showed they were grinders. Both teams honestly showed they were grinders. I keep using the word grinders so much um, throughout this series. Just really tough, tough teams all around with tough players on them. And yeah, I guess it's unfortunate. It is unfortunate the injuries happened. It really is. You never want to see injuries. You want to beat the best guys out there. But you know what? Injuries happen. That's, that's just what happens. That's basketball. That's any sport really and Toronto still took care of business on the road they won three games they won all the games in the finals away all they won all their away games so I think that also really says something about the Raptors and yeah I'm just I'm just I'm really shocked right now it's just it's kind of bizarre almost how it happened and yeah congrats to the Raptors and all those fans up there in Toronto because no one's probably sleeping in Toronto tonight. I feel like it's 12 o'clock now or a little past 12 o'clock now. Um, I don't think anyone's going to bed anytime soon up there. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe. I didn't go below. I did like a sideways. Comment down below and subscribe. Peace out.